We're now going to examine the processor in a bit more detail and see how it is attached to the motherboard. First we're going to detach the cable supplying power to the fan and put that out of the way. Notice the fan and underneath it the metal heat sink which conducts heat away from the processor. The fan and heat sink are attached to the motherboard by a metal clip. This needs to be released in order to remove the fan and heat sink. Take care not to use too much force and so damage the motherboard underneath. With the clip undone we can remove the fan and heat sink. Underneath we can see the processor and if you look carefully you can probably make out that it's an AMD processor. Next we're going to remove the CPU and examine it. First we raise the lever of the ZIF socket and then gently remove the CPU taking care not to damage the pins. Never use force. You can see the pins and the corresponding holes in the ZIF socket. Now we're going to take a closer look at the pins on the CPU and the corresponding holes in the socket. Notice that the staggered array of pins is not symmetrical. In particular, two corners are cut away. This means that the CPU can only fit one way into the slot. This is because the array of holes in the socket is also asymmetrical. Notice the action of the lever, which slides the top half of the socket over the lower half, securing the pins in place. We're now going to replace the CPU, as well as its heat sink and fan. First we ensure that the ZIF socket is open by raising the lever. Then we line up the pins of the CPU with the holes of the socket and drop the CPU gently into place. Next we close the socket by moving the lever downwards gently. Next we're going to replace the fan housing and heat sink. First we position these carefully over the CPU and then refasten the metal clip. We may need to use a screwdriver so be careful to avoid using excessive force. Finally we reconnect the leads powering the fan to the connector on the motherboard. In this practical we've seen how to remove and also install a CPU. We've looked at an AMD CPU which fits into a ZIF socket. There are other kinds of CPU and other kinds of socket. You'll find more information about these in the manual.